Capricorn. <clears throat> Welcome to your new moon and Pisces reading. I know I was mad silence just now. <laughs> Yeah, sad reading was, you know, yeah, hmm. I'm still kind of stuck on that, kind of stuck on Libra. I don't really remember Scorpios. Yes, I do. Actually, now I remember. They got on my nerves. They, they were some the cards. Um, yeah, so what's up, Kat? What's up? Don't take forever to talk like Sag did. I need some immediate, immediate, you know, conversation. Okay. So come on, give me some cards. Come on, cat. I'm gonna call you something else. All right, Capricorn, let's go. What you wanna talk about? What do you want to talk about? Like Capricorn, hmm? Cat, cat. Nope, cat. Let's converse. <laughs> I thought somebody else had that. Converse. <laughs> converse. Converse. Oh, shit. Converse. Capricorn, what the fuck is going on? Sheesh. Oh, I don't remember. Uh. I don't know if that was supposed to well, everything happens the way it's supposed to happen i feel like that middle card was supposed to be in reverse though but hey that's actually not so bad In the past position, you have the star. In the present position, you have the five of pentacles. And in the future position, you have the seven of wands. All right, this is a depressing ass reading. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Disclaimer, spoiler alert, right. In your past position, you have the star. Transformation, hope, renewal, purpose, spirituality, fertility, <laughs> practical abilities, purity, vulnerability. This ain't the depressing part. So, huh, you were listening to your inner voice, intuition, um, after a period of chaos, turmoil, messed up shit going on in your life, right? Cool. You came out of that into a calm phase, or you were working through it into a calm phase. Or so I thought. Um, I, 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 don't, I don't think you were entirely successful at that just yet so in the present because in the present position you have this five of pentacles let me get closer right so with this card hopefully this is a mind state i really really hope this is a mind state because this card is financial laws poverty a lack mind state uh, isolation worry 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 i really hope this is in your head cap i really hope so right um hold on <sighs> okay so you might be quoting your thoughts and you spiraling into a low place right now 
for some this might be the case others is actually happening in a physical like your actual life right if this is a fear in your mind if this is a fear and not actually going on i want you to search your thoughts as to where this worry this fear stems from okay is it fact-based is, is something really happening to cause you um, to be concerned with your livelihood, right? And if it's just in your head, stop. <laughs> for those of you, uh, for those of you who, who this m might really be actioning, um, actually happening to, um, losing your job your home your funds seek help okay and i'm not even being funny there's a lot of research out there it's a lot of shit that could help you okay but back to the people where this is in your mind shift your thoughts you gotta shift gears there's also research to help you do that to get you out of your funk okay you gotta stop uh i feel like now i'm all over the fucking place and for some of you, the third option, <laughs> the third group of people, you may feel like people have turned their backs on you. And that's okay. Because people are sometimes only in your life for a season. People are not meant to be there forever. So if, if that's the case, let that shit go. Oh, God. <sighs> In, into another fucking piece of shit card. Your future card is the seven of wands. And it's normally not a piece of shit card, but as your future position, bruh. Challenge, protection, perseverance, right? You're feeling like people want to take your position and you're ready for it. You're ready to fight. You're ready to battle. You're ready to stay on your ground. But first, assess. Assess was actually a threat to you. Don't waste your time, don't waste your energy on petty shit and distractions, okay? Because at times you might feel overwhelmed, caught off guard. But again, you got to focus on what really matters. And you got to save your energy for actual battles in life. Oh, cap. And I condensed that. I was going to drag it out, but nah, I don't want to. It's like, yo, these readings are getting more blab by the fucking sign look this going on man i don't like it queen of more oracle we need some guidance we need some advice for capricorn come on let's go extreme extremes extremes learn how to handle crisis with wow learn how to handle crisis with calm and resilience seeking balance is superior to seeking extremes there are better ways to handle conflict and rage and outrage there may be someone who seeks to disrupt your business or life in some ways this too shall pass Capricorn, what the fuck did I just say? Oh. Capricorn, your affirmation is, I handle extremes with grace, yet I seek balance in all things. Most of us have experienced extremes of weather, boiling hot days, or freezing of snow and ice. You certainly know you are alive because the sensations can be overwhelming or stressful on the body, like this reading. <laughs> Sorry. Hmm. The hot moon appeared in the hottest time of the year, where the days were longest and the rains less frequent. Similarly, we can experience extremes in our lives. Death, job losses, relationship breakdowns. True. Fears, big conflicts, 
booms and busts, and yet this is our life. Our sensations, nope, our sensation can change quickly for better or for worse. The hot moon challenges us to build our resilience and reserves of wisdom and calm for those times where things are at their extreme. It reminds us that developing grace under pressure is worth its weight and goal and that even these extremes in time will pass bruh if if the fucking cards don't align like i just don't know what the fucking say capricorn i was thinking this is like a descent like you went from you went f not even a descent this is transformation that's what this card embodies. And it transformed from opportunities, hope, fucking a higher aspect of listening to yourself and your thoughts to what is going on. Such is life, right? For those of you where this is in your head, you can come out of it. You just have to change your thoughts. And this moon, you won't have physical battles with people because your thoughts are things and if you're focusing on shit that don't serve you that's what you're gonna see play out in your life for those of you where circumstances are physically changing and you're like damn i gotta i gotta do this i gotta do that i gotta cut here i gotta cut there i don't know how i'm gonna eat tomorrow listen there is help when that time comes and Threats are in the physical, whichever, whether it's an actual battle or not, threats to your way of life, that's still a threat. Decide what's most important and start there because honestly, that's all you can really do. Yeah, Capricorn, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay because again, nothing lasts forever right we have high tides we have low tides we have new moons we have the phase where it phases out into a full moon and vice versa life moving cycles life is all about change it cannot be avoided it is what it is right this has been your new moon and reading wow what the fuck <laughs> This has been, I hope I made you laugh. Capricorn, this has been your <laughs> Pisces reading. <laughs> Get off my table. Bye for now. Yeah.